Namaste. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Coach Deb. I am one of the coaches at Rock City Boxing Troy at the Boxing Rink and the yoga teacher. Uh, today we, were going, we will be doing a yoga for Parkinson's class here in a seat position in the chair. There may be times when we do come up, so if you have issues with your balance today, you might want to grab an extra chair just to have along your side body, just in case you need it. Other props that might be uh, come in handy today would be your blocks. If you have yoga blocks, you can use those. If you don't have any yoga blocks, you can use a folded up blanket or a towel. Um, you can also use a really hard covered book that has a nice steady spine so that the uh, book doesn't shift around on you. You can also use a yoga strap today if you have one. If you do not have a yoga strap today, you can use a tie or you can even use a belt. Um, again, something that's got a little sturdiness to it to help hold your leg or your arms or whatever we might be doing in that case. Good. So once you've gotten all your props, we're going to come to seated in the chair. As we come seated in the chair, we want to sit towards the edge of the seat and we want to pull the flesh away from the sit bones so we can feel like we can really root down into our sit bones. So we can be lazy in the chair and just kind of hang out here and not make our muscles work or we can be really energetic. So when we come energetic, we want to bring the knees coming out straight from the hips. We want those ankles to be right underneath our knees. Push down into your feet and feel the energy of the earth coming up the legs. Here we'll feel the energy moving up through the spine. Release the shoulders onto the back. Keep your head nice and tall, chin parallel to the floor. Hands can rest to the lap. So this is like a mountain pose. The mountain pose really is the base of all yoga postures. All standing postures all start here in the mountain pose. Good. So close your eyes once you feel that you're settled. And as you close your eyes, tune into yourself. So when we say tune into yourself, meaning listen to yourself. Listen to the world around you. And start to bring yourself more internally inward. Listening maybe to the rhythm of your heart. Turn yourself a little bit more inward and start to listen to the rhythm of your breath. Feel a gentle whisper of breath as it moves in and out through the nose. A gentle whisper of breath as it moves up and down through the windpipe. Allow this breath to just gently lengthen. And allow this breath to become balanced. This breath is our guru. Our guru is our teacher. Let the breath be your movement. Let the movement be your breath. So this means through all yoga postures, the inhale leads the breath, the, the movement, and the exhale leads any downward movement. So as the breath begins to expand and lengthen, Maybe start to feel like if you can restrict your throat a little bit. So close the throat just slightly and see if you can hear an audible sound to your breath. The sound of this breath, this is Ujjayi breath. And the sound of this breath is almost as if you were trying to fog up a mirror that sound. Maybe practice that a few times. If you don't quite understand that sound, maybe taking a breath in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Pushing the breath out with some sound. Inhaling again. And exhaling as if there were a mirror in front of you trying to fog it up. And then close the mouth and see if you can create that same feeling, that same sound through your nose. Good. 
Let's see, working on the Sujayi breath. Feel the breath filling the lungs. Feel the breath lifting the belly outward. Feeling the belly soften and pull in. Feeling the rib cage contracting. Feeling the inhale lift you tall through the spine. Feeling the exhale just ground you down into the earth and into the chair. Inhaling, feeling the lightness. Exhaling, feeling the strength, the grounding. A couple more breaths. Inhale nice and tall all the way up through the spine to the top of the head. And as you exhale, just gently turn your head to the right. So gazing over your right shoulder. Notice the sensation. Notice where you're feeling the sensation. Soften the sensation within the breath. As you inhale, come back through center. As you exhale, turn your head to the left, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. Again, noticing the sensation and where that sensation might be. As you inhale, turn your head back through center. And the exhale will drop the right ear down towards the right shoulder. We'll take the left hand and let it just softly dangle along the side body. If you need a little bit more sensation, the left hand can just gently wrap around the bottom of your chair, creating more of a lengthening into the side of the neck. center, hand comes back to the left. As you exhale, the left ear drops down towards the left shoulder. The right arm comes down along the side body. And again, the hand can hang or the right hand can just gently wrap around the bottom of the chair, just creating a little bit more tension, a little more lengthening into the side of the neck. Breathing into whatever sensations you might be feeling today. As you inhale, come back through center. As you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest, lengthen the back of the spine, right in the cervical column. The gaze can come down towards your heart, the gaze can come down towards your knees. Notice how this feels. As you inhale here, lift your head. On the exhale, bring our hands behind our back. We can either interlace the fingers behind our back, drawing our shoulders together. That's not available. Just hold on to the back of your chair. Take an inhale, open the heart. Look up, feel the throat open. So we're just lifting the chin slightly, not tipping the head back just creating an openness into the throat and into the chest. Exhale, releasing the bind and bringing the hands back to the left, settling in again nice and tall. Inhaling tall through the spine and exhale, rooting down into the feet and into the hips. Next inhale, we're going to reach the left hand up to the sky. When the left hand goes up, take the gaze up to the left hand. Reach the fingertips high. As you exhale, slowly lower the left hand down. On the inhale, reach the right hand up to the sky. Take the gaze up to the right fingertips. Really reach. Exhale, float the right hand back down. Inhale, the left hand comes up. 
the gaze follows. Take your time with the breath. Exhale, the left hand comes down towards the lap. Coming back through neutral. Begin the inhale and then reach the arms straight up to the sky. Let the exhale begin and slowly lower the arm back down towards the lap. The next inhale, reach up tall through the left hand. Turn the gaze up and again, we're reaching towards the, uh, the sky. Fingertips extended. Exhale the right hand to the side of the chair. As you inhale, lift up one more time through the fingertips and extend. On the exhale, side bend gently to your right. So feel the spine curving to the right. Gaze is still lifted. If this bothers the neck, you can look straight ahead or down towards the earth. While in the side bend, push down into your left hip, push down into your left foot. Feel completely energized and rooted. As you inhale, come straight back up through center. Exhale, float the left hand down. Inhale, the right hand reaches up, fingertips extending, gaze turns up. Exhale, the left hand down along the side of the chair by the left hip. Inhale again, reach tall, and exhale, side bend to the left. Gazing to the right or straight forward or down to the earth, whatever feels best for your neck. Again, push down into that right hip and into the right foot. Don't feel like you're being lifted. Feel like you're staying grounded. As you inhale here, the right hand reaches. And on the exhale, we float the right hand down. Beautiful. Reset. Re-engage through the legs, through the hips, and re-ground. On the next inhale, we'll reach the arms up overhead, gaze up. As we exhale, we're going to bring the hands down to the heart center. They'll slowly rest down to the lap once we come just a little bit forward. We're getting ready for flexion and extension of the spine, otherwise known as cat and cow. So as we come into cow, we're going to inhale, pull the shoulders together, lift the heart, lift the gaze. On the exhale, we'll round into the back, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, rounding into the back, pushing the back towards the chair. I'm going to turn sideways here so you can see this a little better. As you inhale, the back arches, the gaze comes up, and the shoulder blades are pulling together onto the back. As you exhale, we round into the back, the shoulder blades are drawing away from each other. The belly pulls inward as we gaze down towards the legs. Inhale again, arch, gaze up, open the heart. Exhale, round into the back, expanding into the back body. We'll take a couple more, inhale. As you exhale, round into the back. Take another inhale to arch and gaze up. Another exhale to round and tuck in. Inhaling, reaching back up through neutral spine. Good, nice and tall. Inhale here, reach the arms up overhead, gaze up. As we exhale, we're gonna twist and open to the right. The right hand reaches behind, the left hand reaches forward. Gaze to the right. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, open up to the left. Gaze over the left fingertips. Inhale, reach up. You're doing the best that you can. Exhale, open up to the right. That was Lulu that just walked by. Inhale, come back up through center. And exhale, twisting to the left. One more time. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, open up to the right. This time, hold. Take the gaze over the right shoulder. So if you can't quite see what I'm doing, the arms are open to a T. The hips and the knees stay forward, pushing down into the floor with our feet as the gaze turns to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, we'll open up to the left, twisting, 
Left arm reaches back, right arm forward. The left, uh, the head looks over to the left hand. Okay, I'm pushing down into the feet, trying to keep the hips and the knees facing forward without turning into the twist. Inhale, back up to center, reach up. Exhale, the hands come to the heart. Inhale here, arms reach up, gaze up. On the exhale, hinge and fold over your legs. Hands come down along the feet. Bring the hands to the tops of the knees. As you inhale, lengthen through the spine and take the gaze up. As you exhale, hinge back down and fold forward, releasing the head. Push your feet into the floor to energize. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands down into the heart center. Inhale again, arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hinging and folding forward, moving slowly with your breath. Don't rush the movement. Inhale, lift the gaze, lift the heart. Exhale, fold back in. Pushing into the feet, inhale, rise, arms reaching, gazing up. Exhaling the hands down to the heart. One more, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, hinging as you fold forward. Hands on the knees, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise, arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, the hands come down to the heart center. Good. Take a moment to just notice how you feel. Bring your hands to your hips and extend the right leg. The heel can come down onto the floor. You can also bring the heel underneath or block underneath the heel. Good. I'll keep the block out. Why not? From here, we're going to point the toe on the inhale. On the exhale, flex, pull the toe back. Inhale, point. And exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. One more time. Inhale, point. And exhale, flex. Take a deep breath in here. Lift up tall through the head. And as you exhale, hinge and fold over the right leg. Feel the lengthening into the hamstring. Breathe into those sensations. Hands. So bringing the hands underneath our knees and interlacing the fingers, lifting the leg up off the block. Good. So we're just kind of letting the foot hang. And from here, we're just going to make little ankle circles. So just rolling the ankle in one direction. And then gently rolling the ankle in the other direction. And then holding that foot nice and steady. And then we'll make that same little circle, but this time into our knee. So keeping the top of the leg steady. We're not circling in the ankle. We're allowing the whole lower leg to make a big circle. Good, maybe go the other direction. Chest, give yourself a squeeze and a hug, and gently rock back and forth. Good. We're going to take our right knee now and pull it out to the side. So as we inhale, the right knee will come out to the side, come down around in another big circle, and then inhale back up. 
So we're opening up into the hip joint, into the hip socket. Creating mobility, creating an openness. Good, one more circle and then pull it in. Take that circle into the other direction. So now pull it in towards the midline and then back out to the side. Good. Good. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's really amazing how much it opens up the hip and prepares us for other things. One more. And then gently pull that knee in and give it a hug. Take the right ankle from here, cross it over the left knee. Now, if this isn't available to you, don't worry about it. Some of the things you can do is you can take your left leg straight, bring your right leg on top of the left leg and hold it here. Maybe slide it up the leg and bring the left foot down. If it's still not available to you, if you have your blocks, you can stack your blocks up. Bring your right foot on top of the block and let your right knee just gently fall out to the side. So lots of ways to go into this posture. Another thing you can do is take your strap and wrap it around your foot and hold your foot up here with the knee up to the side. So lots of decisions to make. I'll let you decide which one is best. Doing what's right for your body. Good. Once you're settled, we'll bring the right hand to the inside of the knee. Take a deep breath in here. And as we exhale, we'll gently press the knee out to the side. You should start to feel an opening into the left, right hip. We go all the way down into the IT band, down towards the knee. You might feel it into the hip or into the, the glute and the piriformis. If this isn't enough for you, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, fold forward over your leg.
hip circles. Inhale, open up the knee out to the side. Bring it down and around towards the midline and back up again. Inhaling, opening. Bring it back in. Good. Open wide. And knees back in. Big circle, knee up. Foot moves down. Good. One more. And then hug that knee in. And let's take the knee in the other direction. So bringing it in. And then back out. We roll, releasing that knee, releasing that leg. It's so fun trying to make these videos right now at home. My son's upstairs playing video games. You might hear him laughing. Pull that knee into your chest. Just allows us to stay real and in the moment. Left ankle is going to cross over the right knee. We're going to flex that left foot again to protect that uh, left knee. Pressing down into the right foot, the left hand comes to the inside of the knee. Remember your modifications here. If you can't get your foot up over the right leg, maybe start low on the right leg. And gently lift your leg up. Maybe there's a strap around your foot helping you out. Maybe you have blocks stacked up on the inside of your right leg with the left foot resting on the leg the knee dropping to the side. So with the left hand on the inside of the leg, we'll start with an inhale. And on the exhale, gently pushing the knee out towards the side. So again, we're not pushing directly into that knee. We're pushing a little bit like into the fleshy part of the leg, just creating a little bit of tension. We'll breathe into that resistance. And if we need a little more, we'll take another inhale. And on the exhale, again, we can fold in. One more breath here. Inhale, come up nice and tall. And on the exhale, extend that left leg out, hold it out, breathe. Push through that heel, lift the toes, lift the knee. Keep that right leg pressing downward as well. Exhale, release the left foot down. Beautiful. And now just see if you're feeling a little bit more even. Let's take the legs out a little wider today. So moving into the goddess pose. So I'm going to open up my legs and my legs are going to come off the, off the mat. The toes are going to point out to the side. We're opening up into the adductors here, the inner thighs. The knees are pointing outward. However, the knees aren't caving inward. My knees are tracking towards about my second or middle toe. My knees are staying right above the ankles because again, we don't want them to cave in. We want them to stay in nice and <clears throat> nice good alignment and keeping the legs strong. <clears throat> Excuse me, lift the heart, lengthen through the spine. And let's add the arms here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, draw the elbows down towards about the shoulders. The palms can face inward, the palms can face out. It's no right or wrong here, it just depends on where you'd like to be. Let's inhale, reach the arms up, take the gaze up. Maybe come up onto the toes. Exhale, sink back down, bring the heels back to the earth, elbows back to the shoulders. Inhale, reach up, toes come up, or heels come up, or on the toes. Exhale, come on back down, drop the heels to the earth. Elbows back parallel to the floor. One more. Inhale. Come up off the heels. Reach the arms up. Gaze up. And exhale. Sink back down. <sighs> Shoulders pulling back. Heart is open. One more breath. Exhale. Release the arms down. Bring the feet back in. Inhale here, reach the arms up overhead, gaze up. Exhale, hinge and fold over the legs, release the head. Ah. Good. 
Push back down into your feet. The hands can be on the knees. Inhale, come all the way up as the arms reach up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Now we're going to bring it up to standing. So we're going to come on up off your chair. Now we can do a couple things here. You can bring a chair up to the top of your mat. Use it as support. So the chair is just up at the top of the mat. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see what I'm doing though. If you're having difficulty with balance today, you might want to bring the second chair over to the side. The second chair on the side will again help, can help stabilize you a little bit. You might have to play around with the chairs. It's like musical chairs around here. We're always rearranging furniture. And I have to clear my space, which I did not do before we started. Good. So I'm just standing sideways to my chair so you can actually see what's going on. You're going to stay facing the front of your mat. We're going to come behind the chair. Hands are going to stay here. We're going to take a big inhale. And as we exhale, step the left foot back, bringing the heel to the floor. When the heel comes down to the floor, I'm going to lunge into the right knee. Again, that nice stabilization with the knee over my ankle. And if we notice, we have a tendency to come forward, especially when there's a chair in front of us. So bring your fingertips onto the chair, and as you inhale, just gently push away, bringing the shoulders up over your, sh uh, over your hips, the heart lifting. You can stay here. If you'd like on the inhale, the right hand, left hand can reach up. Maybe the right hand can reach up. Maybe the gaze lifts. Maybe one hand stays down. If you'd like a chair on the other side, again, you can hold on on the other side. As you inhale here, straighten the right leg. On the exhale, sink in. On the inhale, straightening the leg. Exhale, sinking in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink in. Let's do two more. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink in. One more here. Inhale, straightening the leg, reaching up. And exhale, sinking back in. Bringing the hands to the heart. Resting the hands to the chair. We're going to open up now to warrior two. When we open up, we're going to turn the pelvic and pelvis and the chest to face the front of the mat. Or in your case, it would be the left side of the mat, excuse me. For me, it's the front. For you, it's your left side. My right hand's going to stay on the chair. And again, if I'm having balance issues, I can have a chair right in front of me with my left hand. If I'm feeling steady, the left hand can reach back. Maybe the right hand reaches up. Again, we want good alignment. Spine long, shoulders over hips, knees tracking right over that ankle. Feel the back part of your left foot pushing down into the floor. A little movement again. On the inhale, we'll straighten the right leg. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink in. You can add arms here. Inhale, straighten, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink back in. Inhale, straighten, reach. And exhale, sink in. Hold it here and breathe. Bring the right hand to the chair, the left hand to the chair. Step your left foot forward. Good. I'm just turning. You can stay facing the front of your chair. Oh, here comes the bowl, and this is Sonia. Good. If you have pets, I highly recommend that you put them away because they can be a little bit of a trip hazard. Good. Holding on to the back of the chair, we're going to take our right foot and step it back, way back as far as we can onto the, onto the mat. We want to try to get a good legs distance away from one foot to the next. So really feel like you're stepping wide. If you don't feel like you're stepping wide, or you feel like you're stepping wide enough, it's probably not wide enough, so you might have to inch back a little bit. Right heel is down on the floor, and we're going to start to lunge into that left knee. Again, knee is right over the ankle, hips are facing forward. 
abdominals are engaged as the chest lifts. And again, we don't want to feel like we're leaning forward. So fingertips on the chair, gently push away, bringing the shoulders right over the hips. If you're steady on the inhale, we reach the right hand up. Good. If you're steady, the left hand can reach up or stay on the chair. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, release and fold the air. Lunge back in. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink in. One more time. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink in again. Just going right to the knees above the ankle. Don't let it go past the toes. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Left hand on the chair. Opening up to warrior two. Opening the pelvis and the chest to face the right side of your mat. The right toe can turn out. You can sink down a little bit deeper into warrior two. The right hand can lift, parallel to the floor. The left hand can lift or stay on the chair. Again, shoulders are over the hips, spine is long. Gazing over the left hand. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten, this time reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, sink back in. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms reach up. And exhale, sinking back in. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling, release. Exhale the hands to the chair. Step the right foot forward. Beautiful. Excellent. So we're going to go into a balance portion. We love balance in our classes. So for our balance pose today, we're going to do the tree. The tree is one of the easiest poses to teach. Um, especially here, it's one of can be the most modified pose, which is why I like it so much. So for tree pose, we're going to bring our weight into our left leg, the knee is soft, chest is lifted. I'm going to bend my right knee slightly, just so I can feel like I've got most of the weight into the left leg. I'm going to turn my right knee out to the side. External rotation of the hip is what we're looking for. I can keep my toe right here on the floor. I can bring my foot up on top of a block. I can also bring my heel right up against the inside of my left leg with my toes on the floor. We can also bring the foot right to the inside of the left leg where you can go up a little bit higher. You want to be either above or below the knee. You don't want to push into the knee socket. Good. So come up nice and tall, deciding where you're at. And on the inhale here, maybe the arms reach up. Good. Maybe you can play around a little bit and reach the left hand, just take it off the chair. So bring the right hand or both hands back to the hips. Release the right knee. Bring it forward. Stem the leg out. And then bring it down to the earth. Beautiful. Taking our chair to the right side. So again, rooting down into both feet. Feeling like we're nice and secure into the earth. Shifting our weight into the right leg. Bending into that left knee just a little bit. Right hand can be on the chair. Left knee is now going to rotate out to the side. So it can come out to the side here. It can rest up on a block. And again, remember the heel can come to the inside of the right leg, come up a little bit higher or even a little higher. 
The only thing you don't want to do is push into that knee joint. Once again, hands can be on the hips. One hand can be on the chair. Maybe hands come to the heart. Maybe the hands can reach up. Gaze is straight forward or down towards the earth. Whatever makes you feel most steady. Exhale, release the hand down, come to the hips. Left knee comes forward, inhale, extend the leg. And exhale, bring the foot back down. Beautiful. We're gonna bring the chair back to the center of the mat. We're gonna have a seat, maybe with blocks on the floor, or you can use a second chair. So one of the reasons why I like blocks is because I'm short, I'm not gonna lie. And sometimes bringing my feet up on the blocks just helps me feel the pose a little bit better, especially if I don't have my legs up on a second chair. So we're gonna start with Dandasana staff pose. So this is done with the legs straight and the feet forward. So again, most important part here is to energize those legs. So lifting the toes so that they're pointing up towards the ceiling by flexing the feet. The knees are pointing up. The hands come down next to your hips. If you have longer arms, they might come a little bit behind you. Draw the navel in, come up nice and tall, release your shoulders onto the back. From here, I like to say, try to make a double chin. So we're tucking the chin, trying to make a couple chins here. And the gaze is just coming down towards the heart. So if I turn to the side, you'll notice that I'm nice and tall. My spine is still long. And what's happening here is I'm working on stooped posture by drawing those shoulders down the back and energizing them by squeezing them toward each other. If Dandasana is being done correctly, you will feel your whole body engaged hold you upright. One more breath. Good. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, gaze up. As you exhale, bring the hands down to the legs and stay right here. You can inhale nice and tall. You can exhale slowly, walk the hands down the legs. Again, where you're feeling comfortable and most supported. You can also take a strap and wrap that strap around the balls of the feet and hold on to the strap. What we don't want to do is round into the back. We want to keep the heart lifted, the heart moving forward, the spine is long. So for some people using a strap keeps that spine in better alignment in this particular posture. Inhale, come on up, release the strap, bring it down to the floor for now. Good. Bring both feet down onto the floor and kind of move the blocks off to the side. We're going to do a big hamstring stretch from here. So once again, I'm going to pick up the strap. I'm going to take the strap and wrap it around the right foot. Belly is in, spine is long. Holding on to the strap, maybe crisscross it, or maybe just hold on to it with both with one hand. On the inhale, I'm going to lift the right leg up to the sky. I'm going to lift it up as to as, as high as what's comfortable for me. Feeling this long extension underneath the bottom of the leg into the hamstring. Good. Take a couple more breaths here. As you exhale, bring the right, the right leg out to the right side. Keep that left knee and the chest facing forward. Good. Inhale back through center. Release 
release the strap, try to hold it up, and then bring the foot down. Good. Other leg, take that strap, wrap it around the left leg. As you inhale here, extend the leg, hold it out. Breathe. Lengthen into the back of the leg, back into the hamstring. Spine is tall. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Take an exhale, bring the left leg out to the left side. into some bridges. So again, I'm going to turn my chair sideways just so you can see what the pose looks like. So when I turn to the side, again, I'm on towards about the edge of the seat. I'm going to bring my shoulders back onto the chair. My hands are resting right on the hip where I can press down underneath the hips. My feet come forward so I can push down into my feet. What I don't want to do in bridge is I don't want to push back the chair moves or the chair lifts up. What we're going to do is we're going to draw the navel in, tuck the tailbone. We're going to kind of push the legs forward. So you see my knees kind of go forward first, and then I'm going to squeeze to lift up. So most of the weight is down into my feet, not into my hands, and I'm not pushing back into the chair. Exhale, release down. That's not working for you today. What I want you to do is to draw the navel in and tuck the tailbone and just work from here. You'll eventually figure out the energy and the strength to lift the hips up. So one more time, belly in, tuck the tailbone, stay here, or lift the hips up. release back down. Beautiful. So my knee as I turn forward again, I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did either. Not the safest way to move. Good. So let's inhale here nice and tall, reach the arms up. And the exhale hinge and fold over the legs into a child's pose. Bring the hands forward. Release the head down. Slowly roll up. We're going to move into spinal twist here. So take your feet and walk them to the right side of the chair. Take an inhale, nice and tall. And as you exhale, turn to the back of the chair. Shift your gaze over your right shoulder.
Maybe the head gently moving from side to side. Bring your legs together, reach your arms up overhead, take a big, long finger to toe stretch. Take one more deep breath in. One more exhale, let it go. And let's come and revisit again. Stay here while I turn off the music. Someone's going to join us to close class. Bring your hands to the heart center. Someone's going to Bring your hands to the heart. We're going to take a big uh, one ohm hand. And today we'll chant the peace mantra. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste.